Hi guys, Terry here. I was recently asked by one of my subscribers about how to use the Cricut Design Space offset feature. They wanted to type in a word and then create the shadow layer behind it. So let me show you how. So go into your Design Space and if you haven't downloaded it, go to the Cricut website, download the software. It just takes a few minutes. Um, we're currently on version uh, 7.6 and they're updating it all the time. Um, so when you go in there, we're going to create a new project and we just click on new. That's what I've done. I'm on the canvas. Um, so now I'm going to click on text and they recently updated this text button. When you click on that option now, you can just start typing your word. So I'm going to type in offset here. You can, you can um, pick what font you want to use. You can use any font that you uh, find. You can go to your system fonts and um, you can also tell it um, the ones on Cricut. You can download them. You know, all the, all the things you can do uh, regularly here. So I'm just going to pick a bold one here. Let's pick that one so we can see it. So with our word selected, we're just going to go up to this top menu up here and it's called Offset. And by default, it's got a dis distance of a quarter of an inch. It's got a rounded corner or a more jagged uh, angular corner. Um, notice this blue outline that it has created around my word here. If I click on that more, more uh, corner, it just made the edges a little bit more jagged. Let me do it again. Here's the corner. See on the bottom there how it's more rounded? But if I do the square, it's just a little bit more um, of a straight angle instead of a curve. Okay, and then by default, it's got the weld offsets. So if you turn this off, it's actually going to do each letter and its layer. So maybe you want to space them out and have them like that. But nine times out of ten, you're going to have the offset welded. So it's just on by default. And then when we click apply, it's going to uh, do that. Let me change the colors here just so we can see better. So here's our original word, and notice it's one layer, and then we've got the offset behind it, and it did it at a quarter inch. So we could just cut that on the Cricut, the green letters would be separate, and then the black would be one nice layer on the back. Now notice that I can also have the whole thing selected, and I can click on offset again, and hit apply. And then it did another layer, so let me change the color of that. I'm picking that out layer and I'm just going to make it like a light yellow and notice that it also is another layer so see we've got the three layers now if you if you are not sure what layer you can look over here on the left hand side and it's got each of the here's what our original word was here's our next offset and notice it, it called it offset and then here's our offset offset so those are each of the layers if I turn off the click on the eyeball and turn it off, then that hides it. Now let's say that one of our layers has, um, let's say one of our layers, let me, let me create another layer here. So I'm going to take this one off, I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to take this one off and delete it. Let's do a smaller offset. So instead of uh, 0.25, I'm going to do a smaller one. Now I can either drag this line or I can change the number there. So what I'm looking for is these little tick marks by the S. So I'm going to hit apply. Now notice that it's got those little spaces there, those little white marks. That was because I did such a small border that it actually had space between those. Let's say we want the border that small, but I don't want my Cricut machine to cut out those little squares. If I click on here and then come down to contour, it's got each of these pieces that I've got selected. So it's got the um, original black layer there, and then it's got these two little squares. If I click on that, this is what the contour does. It lets me select each of the pieces, and I can turn those off. Now there's no apply button. If I hit hide all, it turns them all off. I'll click on that again. I can either select them or I can click hide all contours. 
and you just have to X out of it. I, you would think there'd be an apply button here, but it's just a, an X out of it. And then that took those little pieces off. If you want to undo that, you can either hit the undo or go back into contour and you can show all those again. So it seems like those only appear when you do a cut that's very small between the letters, but so try that. So um, the other thing that I wanted to show you was you can also do this with images. I mean, you often forget about it. a lot of times we're creating that layer for our words, but you could pick any image. So let me go out here and the image set that I want to do is I want to change this to the cartridges that I own. So I'm going to go to image sets here and under ownership I'm going to click that box. So the way I got to this was up here on the category I clicked image sets after clicking on images and then I said ownership purchased. So this is bringing up the cartridges that I own. So let's just look for a shape. We'll go to this cartridge here. I could have also just searched without going to the cartridges that I own but I do like to whittle it down to just the objects that I own, or just the cartridges that I own, so that I know I don't have to pay for anything. I am not a member of the monthly uh, Cricut Access. So I'm searching just on that one cartridge, and I will then click on Add to Canvas that's down at the very bottom of the screen. Okay, so now I've got my shape, and again, I can just, with that selected, I can click on Offset, and then again, it's the same same option, and I can hit Apply. So isn't that handy? And again, we can hit Offset again and create another layer. Change that to yellow just so you can see it better. But isn't that handy? So we could select the whole thing here and hit Offset. And notice it takes it a minute to draw that blue line. And then there's, that's our offset. So let me change it to another color. So anything that you want to have on the screen, it's going to do that layer. Now, when you click Make It, remember that each layer, each color that you selected, you had black for this one. You can change those colors. And then it'll do the red and the yellow and the greens. So, um, you know, that will... Um, separate them. It really doesn't matter where it is on the design space. Once you've sized them, done the offset, and then hit make it, it's going to just arrange it on each of those uh, mats. And then it separated the mats because of the colors that you picked. So you can load any color of paper. I'm going to hit cancel here and come back to the mat. So um, it did say that this red one was um, larger than my 12 by 12 mat. And I see I've got it on 13 inches here. So, but I hope this helps. I hope um, I'll have the step-by-step -step instructions on my blog post uh, with some screenshots of what we went over here. But I hope this helps. And uh, put in the comments if you try this and it works out great for you. And I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys.